Hi guys, today, as you can see from the title, I will be painting this wooden pineapple. So right now, I'm opening the packaging up, and I actually don't know where I got this from. I just found it somewhere in my drawer. Because it's wood, I just decided to paint it. Because I just opened this up and it's been in the packaging for a while, this, all the strings at the bottom kind of tangled up. So I had to untangle them and then I actually had to take them off because I didn't want to get any of the paint on it. Okay, so here is how it looks um, with all the strings off. And at the bottom there is like some wood kind of splitting, so I just tried to take some off. And now I'm starting to paint um, the yellow part. And I actually just decided to do a basic pineapple because I couldn't really think of any ideas other than just the regular pineapple, how it looks like yellow on the bottom, green on the top. So that's just what I did. And this yellow that I'm using is actually a custom color that I made. Um, as you can see, like I, my container in the background is where I make my custom colors. Right now it's kind of hard to tell how the yellow looks, but it's actually um, a little darker, but the lighting kind of makes it lighter. Okay, so now both sides of the yellow has dried and I'm going to paint the top now with the green. Um, this green is also a custom color and I don't know if you guys can tell or not but the texture of it was really like gooey and hard to like spread. Um, this is because the containers that I use aren't fully airtight so after a while they kind of dry up and I guess that's what was happening to this green right now. So I just had to smooth it out as much as I could. Now for the other side. Next I'm going to be doing the lines on the bottom of the pineapple. So as you can kind of see, I, you, I'm using a darker yellow just to go over the first yellow that I used. And I'm just going in like a diagonal um, pattern and then I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. After the first side was done, I moved on to doing the second side. Now I'm going to draw the highlights on the top of the pineapple. Um, and I'm just doing this by using a darker green and just doing some lines on the top of the um, parts where it goes out and then also in the middle too. And now I'm just doing the other side as well. And 
then the very last step is Mod Podging it. So I usually like to put Mod Podge on these things because it just keeps it um, from chipping and stuff and it also makes it kind of um, glossy. Here is the final pineapple after I painted it and I put the strings back on and I couldn't find the top one so I had to use a suede that I found and I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching.